So I'm, I, this goes back to Flirty Aprons, okay? I yes. read this book called Crucial Confrontations. Mm -hmm. There's also one called Crucial Converse, Conversations. It's by this company called Vital Smarts. Yeah. And I read it and I realized I'm not really good at holding people accountable. I mm. thought I was a skilled communicator, but I was average. Like when I read the book, I actually realized I'm just average. I thought mm -hmm. I was good. Nope, mm -hmm. just average. Because... At that time, I wasn't that comfortable being uncomfortable. When I tried to hold someone accountable, I typically sugarcoated something. Yeah. If someone did, if one of my employees did something that they weren't supposed to, I'd say, why did you do that? They'd tell me and I'd say, okay, don't do that. That's all right, but don't do that again. Mm -hmm. Which really, is that all right? Is it okay that they broke something? No, I'm giving them it's a not, conflicting signal, yeah, aren't yeah, I? Mm, not totally. actually holding them accountable. So I, I have this like internal reflection this period of like shame okay i'm gonna improve myself i'm gonna change i i have a friend of mine who um was interning with us for the summer just like being an assistant for me for the company and he shows up late like probably like half an hour 45 minutes late and i say why are you late and he he gives me an excuse and i'm like that really isn't an excuse that's an explanation but that doesn't excuse you that wasn't like you're you got a flat tire yeah i'm like that, that's not appropriate. You can't be late anymore. And I didn't say that's okay. Don't yeah. do it. I said, I said, that's not okay. You can't do that anymore. And he had this look on his face, just like, it's just so deflating, like, <laughs> oh, oh, like, like everything in him sunk <laughs> to the bottom of his stomach. <laughs> and I'm like trying to not reflexively <laughs> sugarcoat it. I'm like, don't say anything. Don't it's say about anything. to come out of the mouth. <sighs> and I know who breathe in. I take a deep breath. And then finally, he's like, you, you're right. You're right. And then later on, like a, a couple of days later, he says, that conversation was hard. That really sucked. He's like, but thank you. Wow. That's exactly what I needed to hear. He's like, I didn't want to hear that. But thank you for saying that. Thank you for not sure. And he, I think he used the phrase sugarcoating that. Mm. Mm. That was the beginning of me becoming comfortable.